All right, Jack, you can't stop getting in behind defenses. Talk a little bit about the chemistry with Michael Farfan that, that's developing. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, not only is it on the field, it's off the field. Our, our lockers are right next to each other, so we're just really combining well. You know, we know where, what each other think and where to be at the right time. So, I mean, it's going great. So walk us through that cutback on the first goal, how you set up uh, Gabe Gomez. Yeah, there, we knew there was a lot of space in between their left and center back, so Mike picked up this, the ball in the, in the midfield. You know, there's a lot of space there. He turned and saw me making the run. He played me in. And then I uh, kind of waited for Gabby to make a near post or far post run, and I uh, kind of got stuck in between, so I just played it where I knew the defender where to get it, and uh, Gabby got there first and put it in. So what do you think about the chances of you playing alongside Antoine at some point? How scary is that for an MLS defense? Uh, I think it'd be good, but uh, I think what we have right now is going good because he's, you know, he's that quick, you know, player that can get in behind defenses. So, you know, with their tired legs, you know, in the 60th minute when he comes on, I mean, they they have no chance against him. So, with all these games, how do you prepare for Wednesday? What are you doing differently than a normal week to get yourself ready? Uh, I think we're just resting. You know, we have to go out of our way to make sure we're eating the right thing and we're, uh, you know, doing the things off the field and getting enough sleep to prepare for the game. Well, congratulations. Good luck Wednesday. All right, so talk about selling out for that header there to keep the clean sheet towards the end. Uh, Zach made a good save and uh, just wanted to help him out, even though he punched me in the head earlier. Um, and uh, it's just a continued theme from last week when Gabe laid his, his, his body on the line. So uh, we're doing everything we can to keep the goals out. You took a knock on the head from Morgan. You took that knock. Everything all right? Cobwebs clear? Yeah, everything's good. Uh, I'm still uh, seeing clear, so that's a good sign. We'd seen in some of the, the friendlies the fullbacks pushed up all the way on the other half. It's kept up. How do you think you guys have done, you and Gabe Farfan, playing so high? Uh, it's easy when we keep the ball like that. I think we had something like uh, 267 passes in the first half. So uh, when you keep the ball like that, it's easy for us to push up. And uh, we know that the ball is coming uh, either his side or my side. So uh, it's a good outlet for, for the guys. And uh, it helps stretch the field for us. So as long as we keep uh, a hold of the ball, we can do good things. And how does this momentum help you going into Wednesday, knowing your legs can't be fresh? Uh, you know, we're just trying to trying to move one game at a time and uh, we know that it's a quick turnaround we're doing everything we can to to get our bodies ready for Wednesday and uh, it'll be a tough turnaround they'll be a completely different team from from a couple weeks ago and uh, you know I know that they're gonna be uh, pretty pretty pumped uh, it's a uh, it's for you know a place in the final of the Open Cup uh, it's it's big for both teams so both teams are gonna get ready for the game as best as they can and try to give their best performance so it's, it's the final, and then it's the revenge from you shutting them out and blowing them out a few weeks ago. Yeah. Do you need to change anything from tonight, or is this the performance you want to put out again? Uh, you know, we just want to keep up the effort. We just want to keep moving the ball and uh, doing what we've been doing. Uh, I think if we do that, uh, you know, we give ourselves a good chance uh, in any game. Best of luck Wednesday. Thank you. So walk us through that second goal, this, the switch from Jack and how you, uh, how you looked up and saw Freddie. Yeah, well, I mean, I saw the, that somebody was going to play a long ball. I don't remember if it was Jack or, or Amobi. I'm not sure who it was, but I saw the long ball coming, and as soon as I brought it down uh, out of the corner of my eye, I saw Freddie making that run. Um, so it was a great run, and I just tried to put it in his path towards the goal. You're getting way up the field, playing above the midfielders at times. How much is that? Is that just you, or are, they, are the coaches just pushing everybody forward? I mean, the coaches tell me to, to pick and choose, make sure, and obviously not go every time, but... I think it's just my tendencies. Obviously, I've played in the midfield before, and, uh, and I love attacking. I love helping, helping the team out in any way I can. Did you expect Toronto to sit back so much and, and be so defensive in this game? Uh, not so much. I mean, we thought, we thought they were going to try and bring it. Uh, obviously, there was a couple moments where they did, but uh, for the most part, it was just them lumping balls in the back. And so we had to uh, do a good job and take care of that. Looked like you had a pretty good uh, shoving match going on with Reggie Lamb a few times. What was he saying? Was he trying to get under your skin? Nah, he wasn't saying anything. Um, obviously, every every game is a battle against whoever I'm playing against, so it's all it's all in the game. Uh, but nothing's taken out out of the game. Are you doing anything different this week versus other weeks in terms of getting your legs ready for Wednesday? Uh, not really. Uh, usually, I take care of my body pretty well. Uh, I usually hop in the ice bath as as many times as I can, uh, contrast baths or whatnot. Try and get as much rest as I can and eat healthy. Anything you have to change to to make sure you go out and get that victory against Kansas City? No, I think uh, I think everybody just needs to stay focused and uh, and we need to stick to the game plan that we have for Wednesday. Perfect. Good luck. Thank you. Where does that confidence come from to hit that shot first time? 
Uh, I mean, it was a perfect ball. Um, I saw the keeper. He was, uh, you know, he was a little bit uh, in no man's land. He took a step towards me, uh, and uh, so he was kind of on his back, on his heels, and so I just had to hit it, and uh, I mean, hit it right. So it was hard for him to make the save. So with Toronto, most of the game being really compressed back, they sort of stretched to look for a goal. What were you trying to do to take advantage specifically of uh, Emery on the left side there? I was just trying to, you know, try to get behind them. Uh, Coach Hack told me before coming in that uh, just to find some space uh, between the, their uh, uh, their left back and their left center back. So uh, um, that's what I was doing, trying to make the runs between them, trying to make it difficult for them to stay with me. So uh, I went in the game. Mike Farfan did a great job. He, uh, he does a great job finding me, so you know it's, it makes it easy for me. As you're coming in for 20 and 30 minutes, with the season being so dense right now, are you finding center backs being more tired when you get on? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're pretty tired. After playing 70 minutes in any game, you're going to be pretty tired no matter what. So for me, uh, I mean, yeah, they're, they're, they don't want to chase me around, so I'm, hap I'm happy to make it more difficult for them. Obviously the winning helps, but what else are you guys doing off the field to push yourself to get through so many games in such a short period? Yeah, I mean, uh, everyone here is a professional, and uh, everyone understands what they need to do to make sure their body is ready for the next game. So, you know, everyone's getting ice baths, you know, getting the hot tub, uh, getting stretching. Regen sessions are great. So, I mean, everyone knows what they need to do to make sure that they're ready for uh, the next game. And uh, the next game, I think, is Wednesday. So, Kansas City, that's a huge one for us. So, uh, I think everyone will make sure to be ready for that one. Kansas City, can you predict any more chips on Jimmy Nielsen? I don't know. Maybe he'll be expecting it. So, maybe I'll go low. Good luck. Thank you.